an ice mage capable of making Gray shiver. I'm impressed. But making the matchup, that really does make the matchup that much more interesting. Maybe Gray has some new moves up his sleeves, though. As we actually haven't seen that much of him this arc. And honestly, ever since that little thing with Gray and the Alvarez are in the uh, Avatar arc, I've been pretty hyped up for Gray. Ever since. So, yeah. Gray is definitely one of the best in terms of, you know, hype of characters. Because he, he's not Natsu, but he somehow managed to get himself up there. Especially with the Devil Ice Slayer magic. That was, that was by far some of the best. But, you know, we still haven't seen too much of him aside from that little bits and pieces fight with Ur. Or rather, Ur's Historia. But nothing more than that. So hopefully this time he gets the one-on-one -on -one he needs with Invel. But speaking of Historia, we see Nainhart again. He confronts Eileen on Urza's location just after she gives her two cents on emotions. And she still practices what she preaches too, as seen when she actually cuts Nainhart off to tell him not to bring Urza to her, but to kill her instead. <laughs> That's a cold-hearted bitch. We don't know if she's her sister, or her mother, or an aunt. But there ain't no love in this relationship. And she knows who she is. She knows who she is. Urza probably has no fucking clue, but... Eileen, she knows who she's dealing with, and she don't give two fucks. And of course, Nineheart is still traumatized by Urza, which I'm guessing is partially put on, you know, by a... Uh, Partially put on by our little buddy, uh, Eileen. Not really buddy, but, ooh, she's a bitch. But actually, I think we got a glimpse at why he's so scared of her. Because we get to see a little hint at a different nature in him. My guess? He's one of Eileen's creations. Just like, you know, the Eileen squad. But, it could be a little different. And I wouldn't mind that, I guess. So maybe his subservience to Eileen comes from that. Because he's a little too subservient. She's scared? Fine. Anyone could be scared of her as long as they're not on her level. But that's subservience to the next level. But uh, enough about Nineheart. We're going to switch back to Invel. Because aside from out-freezing Grey... He also freezes some of Natsu's hottest flames, which, if you remember from the start of the time skip, are capable of melting stone. So he's definitely no pushover. But you know what? We're going to have to wait till next chapter to see all that. And it's going to be a good fight. Best part is, if Grey wins, that means Mavis will be able to defend herself from Eileen. Will it be too late? We'll have to find out. I mean, you know, maybe it won't happen, maybe it will happen. Either way, what do you guys think about Invel's power? Or Nineheart's true nature? Tell me in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video, and subscribe to my channel for no more content. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook to keep up with, keep up with my uh, releases. The links are going to be in the description below. And later today, I'll also be releasing something to get back into the roots of this channel, which, before the manga and anime stuff, was originally just Batman videos, Arkham Knight videos. So if anyone likes Arkham Knight, I'm going to be doing a reviving the Arkham Knight special as soon as I'm done with this. So, till next time.